Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's What's on the Shelf. My name is Ms. Alley, and I am the Early Literacy Librarian here at the Racine Public Library. And as always, joining me is my good friend, Hubert the Hippo. Hubert and I know that you guys enjoy reading many, many books, some of which you may have even gotten from here at the Racine Public Library. And we're here to share a couple new ones with you today. First one, a few of you may definitely know, is called The Paper Bag Princess, and this is by Robert Munch. This story is about a princess who has everything she needs between her parents, she's betrothed to another prince, a great castle, she has it all, until a dragon comes and burns everything to the ground, including the dress she's wearing. So she puts on the one thing she finds that isn't burned, a paper bag, and goes to defeat the dragon. She uses all of her wits to tire him out, make him use all of his fire so that she can rescue her prince back, only to find that he does not want to be saved by a paper bag princess, and she decides she doesn't want him either. So she gets to go live her happily ever after just as she pleases. So another story we thought we would share with you today is called Princess Unlimited, and this one is by Jacob Sager Weinstein. This story is all about a princess whose kingdom is under attack by a dragon, but her parents, the king and queen, choose not to listen to her. So she tries to come up with all of these ways to slay the dragon to help get appropriate weapons for the knights to defeat the dragon from having a lemonade stand to trying to tell her parents, the king and queen, that they need to help with the dragon. But all they say is that a princess needs sparkles and frillies and that's what they spend all their money on instead. So the princess and her new vice princess take matters into their own hands and go to confront the dragon. But instead of killing the dragon or defeating the dragon, they propose a business deal where in which the dragon helps out the kingdom and in turn the kingdom gets the money they need to continue moving on. So that is another great story about a princess and her girl power. A second really great story we wanted to share with you today is called Interstellar Cinderella by Deborah Underwood. This story follows a traditional Cinderella story but with a little bit of a twist. It takes place in outer space. And this Cinderella also loves anything to do with mechanics. She loves fixing things and putting things back together. And it's super exciting when a prince sends out an invitation for a ball, just like what you may have thought. But her stepsisters get in the way saying she needs to fix a spaceship before she can go to any ball. So Cinderella does manage to fix the ship and in the process ends up even helping the prince. However, there is no royal ending at the end, so you will just have to come see how this one plays out for her own happily ever after. So these are a couple of books that Hubert and I thought you guys might like to try. If you stop down, we are more than happy to help you find them so you can check them out, as well as any other great books that you guys might be interested in today. So that's what we have for you, and we will see you next time.